guys, today we'll be doing a review of the Rubik's brand 2x2. Two two. So this 2x2 two two is not too good. I mean, turning is okay, I guess. Corner cutting for a Rubik's brand, of course, so it's not that good. It, can't even, it can probably only corner cut a tenth of a QB. Again, if I didn't already say, turning is all right. The only thing is it it's kind of tight and it catches sometimes. So you'll sometimes like either drop the cube, which is not good. And I don't like where, like when you're solving, it can it turns like this. Also, one thing I don't like about it is the size. Let me show you why. The cube is two inches long. Actually, an inch and three quarters. An average two by two should at least be two to two and a half inches. When this is only one and three quarter inches, which can interfere, causing me sometimes to drop the cube, plus the stiffness, which is why I don't particularly like this cube. And I will be getting a GAN 249 for Christmas, which is coming up. So look for that review, okay? I'm not letting you down, please. Just that review's coming. I'm gonna get it for Christmas. I promise. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave it a like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. And tell me what you want to see next, and I will get to as soon as possible. And oh, by the way, my final grade for this cube is seven out of ten. So that's seventy. So a C. So. Yeah, there's not too much to say. Bad corner cutting, actually horrible corner cutting. Too small, is tight, but the turning's sort of okay. But, uh, yeah, so would I recommend this for speed cubing? No. Would I recommend this for beginner solving? Yes. Would I recommend this for general puzzle solvers uh, interested in the Rubik's Cube? Yes. So, yeah, that's all I have to say on the Rubik's brand 2x2. This is WGQ774 here, signing off.